extreme signs. Well, today we're gonna do some extreme, extreme signs. We're gonna create a fire tornado. Woohoo! With physics, myself, and chemistry, because it's better that way. We're gonna combine two extreme things, a fire and a tornado. Now you may say, why would one do this? Because we're crazy. Because we're crazy and because we, we can. do it. Exactly, because we're good at that. So step one, we need the fire. And Peter's gonna give us some fire. All right, so what I've got here is a dish filled with hexane. It's a fuel, kind of gasoline, but a very pure form of it. I've got inside this glass dish over here with a bit of glass wool. This will be our fuel source that we'll put inside the can over here, which then I'll take my torch, ignite it, so there'll be a flame over here. And then we'll start spinning it, which at that point, Ray will start explaining the physics behind what's happening. Now the idea is, with any flame, one's gonna have cool air coming in, hot air rising, and which is pretty cool in itself. It is. But when I put this cage over it and spin the platform, the cool air that's coming in is not gonna go straight in, it's gonna come in in a twisted motion, it's gonna come in sideways. So basically one's gonna have the air coming in and spiraling. And let's see what happens into the flame. So we're gonna light this up, got a torch, I got my fuel, we got the cylinder. All right, it's on fire. I'll lower that down. We're gonna bolt it in place. There we go. All right, so what's going on, Ray? Well, the cool air is coming in, but it's being twisted. It's coming in, in a, it's coming in sideways to the flame. And so that hot air, one can see what's happening. We're creating a tornado, and the flame is falling into that tornado. Now this happens in reality. This is an example of an extreme situation. The forest fires that we had this summer in Fort McMurray, a lot of the water bombers and a lot of the firefighters that went in had to be careful of this exact effect because as the air currents would come in, it formed this exact fire tornado in the middle which prevented a lot of firefighters and water bombers from coming in out of fear that they would get sucked into it. And this is pretty extreme. This is extreme physics and extreme chemistry. It's the best of both worlds. So this is a fire tornado, a very cool thing, mixing two extreme things together, a fire and a tornado. And we hopefully uh, you enjoyed it. And remember, whatever you do, don't do this at home. We're trained professionals. I feel like Neanderthal staring at the fire right now. <laughs>